Hi, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and we're going to look at something today. I keep showing you different uh, things, different um, um, pages that I do on my Studio J, and what I want to do is I want to show you how to do that. It is so simple, it's unbelievable. And um, I'm just logging in right now to it so you can see I've already uploaded my picture so because I didn't want to take the time of you being bored half to death because I'm putting all these these uh, pictures and loading them on and um, so they are already uploaded but you go to Studio J and you go to sassylady.ctmh.com and then click on where I showed you Sassy uh, uh, Studio J and right now it's loading the whole program and it's a huge program so it just takes a second to do that now it says go to my projects or create a new project I've already got the pictures uploaded you would go to go to my project I'm going I mean go uh, create a new project I am going to go to my projects and I've got Portland Maine and I want to open that and you'll see that I've got all kinds of photos in there. And right now they're populating all the different photos from when we were in Portland. And as soon as it finishes populating them, which will only take a second, as you can see, it moves very fast. We had so much fun. Um, but as soon as I have them done, four more photos, three more photos. There we go and then go to continue now it says do you want to start with an express collection and that there's all kinds of pages that are pretty much done and I usually don't use them because a lot of their headings don't match what I'm doing so I create my own custom heading or custom layout from there you get to pick out pictures and as you can see there's a ton of different not pictures excuse me papers there's a bunch of different papers that you can choose. And I've already looked through all of them and notice that I'm only way up at the top here. So uh, there's just a huge number of pages. I'm going to use back country because we took a ride through the country uh, when we went to Maine and it was just awesome. And so I'm gonna use that. And then once I click on that, see how it's highlighted right there? It's up in the upper right, uh, left hand, right hand corner, excuse me, right there. I'm going to hit continue. Now it's loading the kit data. And it says, okay, how do you want the pages to look? And here's where you can pick out all different kinds of layouts in that. Isn't that awesome? And just a ton of different layouts you can use. Okay. And I've got a lot of pictures so what I would like to in use is something like this one right here um, I think that would be awesome because it's got that one big picture and there's a picture of my honey and I and that would look nice on that so I'm going to use that and I think I'm going to end up with four pages on this because I actually have so much but um, we're going to use that so I've clicked and continue Now, from there, it says, okay, how do you want the papers to look? And what it does is it shows you what they look like, and you pick how you want your pages to look. And I kind of like this one because I like the little pine trees in that. So I like this one, so I'm going to click that mix and continue. Isn't that awesome? Now, all you have to do, look at this. This is what I want to show you. All you have to do is drag your picture over. Oops, I'm going too fast there. And put it in there. And look what happens. Right now, it's putting the picture in. That easy. Don't you love it? 
and then here's another picture of and I'm using this picture because our hostess is this lady that Jim and I are in the picture of and when you have something like that it lets you move the picture see how I'm moving it from side to side there and that was us when we went out to eat and right now I'm only doing the pictures that we did when we went out to eat and I'm going to have to look at, um, I think I'll do some other pictures too. Of like when the boat, and maybe one of the lighthouses make that big. And see how it's a little bit off center and you can take and you can move it. And we're going to put one of the boats right here. And also, let's take one of the lighthouses right there. And again, you can move it around. That's what that little hand is. And see what I'm doing? I'm moving it right there. And then let's take lobster, since lobster is the thing. And we're going to move it over a little bit so we mainly have the lobster there. there. Now, look at this. See this? That means my pixels are going to be off a little bit. It's blown it up too much. So I think I, and it asks you, do you want to learn more? Do you want to find out a little bit more about it? But um, the resolution, it says, is the scale is below recommended settings. So I can either leave it, and I, my picture might look a little grainy, or I could remove it. Now, the only, it's so easy to remove a picture because you're not really removing it. What you're doing, and I'm looking for another picture that I could put on here. Um, let's use this. All you do is take and drop that picture, that and it's going to put, no, I don't want that one either. Mm-mm-mm. Decisions, decisions. Another couple. Okay. There's the four couples. I now have all the pictures. That's how easy it is. Click off that. And um, what I want to do now is I want to change the color of the... This is and this is the little um, threads. And this is my color palette. And I'm going to leave the threads this color. But I want the button in a dark blue. The dark blue on there. So we'll choose that, and it does that on all of them. See that? See how nice that looks? <coughs> Excuse me. And then this ribbon, I think I want to make that that dark blue also. Oh, I'm not grabbing it. Okay. There we go. Now, what it did is it did all the little buttons the same color so that they color coordinate. And right up here is my journaling and my journaling. It's that simple. It's done other than me typing in what I want to type. And I'm not going to keep you on because I can't remember the name of the restaurant. And so I want to get online and look at that I think it was the still water still water I'll look it up rather than keeping and boring but to do this all you have to do is click on the journaling area and you want to hit edit text and see how it highlights it and this is um, let's see we want to put we had 
in a great time. Um, great time and wonderful food at the still water restaurant and I'm not going to go any further I just wanted you to see how easy that was just to do your and uh, your uh, journaling and it does it for you and then how nice is this it does a spell check you do spell check and look at it tells me I have something wrong wonderful food and I want to put food and I click it and then replace it and then my spell check is complete how nice is that that's what I love about this program and basically it's done except for I can't remember the name of the restaurant and I'm going to take and here I want to put um, the name of the restaurant again so I need to look that up but it's done and then you check it there's a place where you can check the project itself and it will do the spell check it will make sure that everything's lined up properly and that your pictures will print properly but I love it I hope you enjoyed today's little post thank you for joining us at she's a sassy lady bye now I can't find my button good morning I'm back in here because what I want to do is I want to go through and um, um, change this a little bit I now hopefully this is the one I reloaded uploaded the pictures because what I want to do is instead of using the create your own I want you to be able to choose the other pictures or, or the other um, already made layouts okay so as soon as it comes up and unfortunately I'm using my upstairs computer so it's a little bit slower than my other computers uh, the one that I have at work and then the one that I have downstairs but um, have to do it here we go hopefully I hope it didn't log out I mean no here it is and what I did is I chose and that's not the one I want to show you this is the way it's going to end up okay let's go back to um, my projects Portland Maine Oh, Portland video that's the one I want maybe that's the one I want what I want to do is be able to show you and so I've got all the pictures loaded as you can see every one of them are on here okay continue start with an express collection that's what we're going to do this time the last time we created our own custom layout this time we're going to start with the layout and I'm going to go right to the one that says travels right here and I'm going to click on travels and then continue and then I want to pick out which one that I want and I went with this one I like this one right here because it held more photos I want to be able to use more more photographs in mine so I went with this so all you have to do is click on it and continue and it goes right through or I double clicked see how simple this is and I apologize I'm using this computer upstairs but it's just easier to work with and that's why I'm using it and I probably should have a little bit more light on this that help a little bit okay now all you have to do is like this where you have the copy look at how easy this is it's got life is unforgettable and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click scale font because I want it to automatically scale it for the space that's there and I want to edit the text and I'm just going to change that to Portland because that's where we went now how simple is that and it has a spell check 
you can hit your spell check and it'll tell you that no spell misspelled words were found or if it is it'll tell you that there's a problem okay and that's done now all I do at this point is uh, once again just like before drag the photos in and you'll just see how fast this actually is and then I can push them around you know where we are that's hubby and I and then I want to take our dinner guests let's see I'm gonna put her there that's Jennifer Jennifer was our hostess that's Jim and I and Jennifer and then we gotta get Christine and her husband and this was our Saturday night dinner we went out now how fast is that that page is done and you can move it around to center and I want to get this one and move it around a little bit there we go okay and then um, come on drag the photo up here now I want you to see something I am gonna let this picture go at any rate but I've got a caution sign on here and it's saying that it's not recommended for this. Now the reason why the picture will turn out okay but it's going to be a little bit grainy but I absolutely love the picture so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to ignore the warning. Okay? In my um, of the pictures that I took to, that I put on the blog I left it on there so that you could see that I had a warning symbol. Okay? And then I also want to remember this. We went to, this is Lenny the Moose. I wanted to get at this moose. Look at that. Can you believe it? It's a 1,700 pound chocolate moose. And they had a fence around them. Otherwise, I think I would have taken a big bite out of them. And right there is a little bear also. So I wanted to have that in there. But I wanted just some pictures of us and um, scenery. And I don't know whether I ended up with Lenny the moose in the final one or not. But I'm just showing you this. You'll see the final ones that I picked out and um, I, I got my honey and uh, right on the coast there and I want to increase the size of the picture look at this this is how easy it is you increase the size look at that is that awesome or what now let's get um, there's a picture of me in front of the lighthouse right here and there's a man in the picture also oh no there's this one there is no man in the picture that's not the one I want look at this this isn't the one I want now you want to see how easy it is to find the one you want just go back grab it oh first I gotta get off this grab it put it on top of there oh it won't let me because I haven't let go here sorry click off. Now let's try this again. Put the new picture on. No, it's not letting me because there, the hand is, oh, I just had it gone. There, the hand is gone. Now it'll let me. And I decided I don't want that picture, so I drag the new picture on and it replaces it. See that? And I want the picture scaled a little bit larger like that and I want to move it around a little bit where you can still see the lighthouse but the, you can also see me in there okay that's done then journaling again we're going to scale the font edit the text and then we're going to type on there we had and I don't know I'm just coming up with something so and one so you can see how it just alters the type right away so it fits within the uh, space that you had we had such a wonderful time visiting Portland Maine we enjoyed the sights and the crisp fall weather 
and then you can alter this also edit text and I want it all flush left or I want it centered or flush right see how you can do that you can do whatever you want in that and then we want a spell check and no misspelled words so we're okay there now all you have to do then is save and right up here there's a little button it's right up over here push save in your top right hand corner and it saves it the page is done now how fast is that and look how beautiful that page is it's all set to go and that's the one that I'm printing not the first one I decided I wanted this with the fancy letters and everything else on there and I like the colors of this one better it really goes a little bit more but, but the bottom line is you can pick and choose what you want to do and that's the beauty of this program and I just wanted to share it with you today I've been showing you pages but I never showed you how to do it okay now um, you can log back out and I'm gonna log out because I, again I just wanted to show you it's so easy to get into just go into and it's sassy lady dot c t m h close to my heart dot com go up in here under products studio j online scrapbooking and it's free to do the page and they charge you I think it's five ninety five for um, let's see let's get the exact price on here price six ninety five six ninety five for um, um, two pages so that's what three and a half dollars a page do you know what I paid at uh, Costco and they were the least five dollars a page four ninety five so you can't beat it you have a great day thank you for joining us today at she's a sassy lady and I'm looking forward to seeing you more often as things are finally, finally, finally starting to calm down. And I thank you for your understanding. And hopefully next week I'll have time to get together a Gypsy Made Simple project for you, okay? You take care. See you real soon. Bye now.